Well, good morning. It's really good to be here. We've looked forward to this since last month. Last month. Because we knew we were going to recap today. So here we are, and it's great to be back and great to hang out with you. So we've been busy, but you've been super busy. Super busy. Great um, things are going on. Lots of great things. So with the Dutch oven on wheels. Yes. It's always going somewhere. The somewhere. Dutch oven is on the wheels moving around. <laughs> it is going somewhere. <laughs> so where all have you been? What, what all have you been doing with your food truck? Mainly um, here lately we've been at the Gear Garden here in Bella Vista at Blowing okay. Springs. Yes. I just uh, found out where that was. It's a beautiful, it, sweet little spot. It is. Great place to camp and, mm -hmm. and hang out and then get great food. Yes. And local uh, ciders, local beers. Wow. Um, it's about 10, 15 degrees cooler back there because mm -hmm. you get the, the air from the cave and then right. the water. Which we, we could use that today. Oh. It's going to be 100 degrees outside, I believe. Yes. So it's going to be a hot one. It'll be a good spot to be. Right. Well, when will you be back there again? Uh, this Friday. We'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Wow. Uh, Saturday, they're having a Jeep, Jeep Wrangler Roundup. I didn't know. I wanted yeah. to bring my Jeep. Yeah. I had not heard. Saturday evening. Okay. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. So what time is your food truck open? Four to eight. Okay. All right. So go to Blowing Springs, mm -hmm. Dutch Oven on Wheels. Dutch Oven on Wheels. And we are friends, but they have the best food. I'm not kidding. Jenny, Thank and you. everybody that comes in the store is like, have you had their food? It's actually really good. And I'm like, <laughs> well, yes, it is. So what will you have this weekend? I know we'll be doing the summer salad. Mm -hmm. We always mm -hmm. have the smash burgers, the guacamole burgers. That's my favorite. The uh, mushroom and Swiss. I like to add bacon personally to mine. Doesn't um, bacon go on everything? I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have the balto, which is a bacon, avocado, lettuce, turkey, tomato, onion on a multi-grain. I like to add Swiss cheese to oh. mine. Yeah. And then you get to pick a side item. Wow. With it. Well, yeah. it sounds and then great. Toodle on over and get you a little beer. Right. Now, is there music also this weekend? So I know there's uh, jazz every Sunday. Okay. Right. And Friday they may have a band lined up. But then the Wrangler event, the Jeep Wrangler event on Saturday, it's that's going to be, be a big huge hit. too. So that will be a lot of fun. It will. So, well, I'm Stephanie Anderson and Jenny Johnson, and we're so glad to be with you today. Um, there's also, we talked about last month that Jenny had something. So they have the Dutch oven on wheels, but she also has a nonprofit called the Food Fairies. And I think I did mention I'm a former teacher, educator, middle school principal. <laughs> I love to do lots of things, but right. I loved that probably most. Um, but there's so many families in Northwest Arkansas mm -hmm. that need our help or want to have a cool backpack for school or would like to have a full stomach on their way. And, mm -hmm. you know, so this is the time we get excited. I'm also from Springdale and I get excited about the Grape Festival, which is also going on this week. But it also means that school's about to start. Right. So when that happens, you know school's coming. Well, there's a lot of kids that cannot wait to get back, but they also want to know, am I going to have supplies? Um, you know, and, and, it, and it's great to help out. So right. how is the Food Fairies helping with that? So what we do is we get backpacks and we fill it with food. Mm. <laughs> and then whenever the kids, the, the principals, they know the need. Right. They know who to send it home right. with. Right. And um, that way it's all sealed up in the backpack. Nobody mm -hmm. knows what's inside. Sure. And they have snacks. Every kid, when they get home from school, is hungry. Sure. Yeah. And so Lunch comes early. these are items that they will be able to fix themselves. Uh, love um, it. Right. You know, and maybe even fix dinner for the family. Who knows? Who well, knows? I mean, you get some good skills, and there's some yeah. great things that. Uh, so non-perishable items and sometimes just some fun things in the backpack. Correct. So the Food Fairies, Jenny Johnson, um, really likes to help get all this going. And so she's got an event. We'll come back and talk about it again. Um, but we have these great containers that raises money for it. And yes. then you have an event coming up. So yes. I, this is one of my favorite things, <laughs> these little, um, because I was like, what's in it? <laughs> and Jenny's like, love. <laughs> oh, but it is a spicy love. Yes. Because it says spice for living. Spice for living. People are like, it's empty. And I'm like, it's full. It's so full. <laughs> <laughs> so these are for sale. They make a great oh. gift. They're $5. The proceeds go to help these kiddos with the food fairies. Correct. And then I'm super excited about September 3rd. 
Yes. Six o'clock p.m. Naturals Ballpark. I brought these, and I'm going to give a shout out to my son Mason. He just realized last night that entertaining with wine and spirits is on, and that his mom's talking in a microphone. So Mason G, I brought your Northwest Arkansas inaugural season um, little display here. Also your inaugural season hat, but it's super fun. I think this is a great thing for our community. Great fireworks, baseball, a night out. And with an adult ticket, kids eat free? Correct. Kids run bases after the game? Correct. Amazing fireworks. Huge fireworks. Plus you get to support the food fairies and all these proceeds, or a lot, some of the proceeds will go to help these kids. Mm -hmm. Some go to the Naturals uh, mm -hmm. to help sponsor this. But um, it's going to be a great game, and that's September 3rd. So we'll come back and talk about that again. But we hope that you will um, buy some tickets. They're at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits. Buy lots of love because it does make your food taste better, especially when you're a cook like me. And um, we'll be right back with our first guest. We have an awesome show today, some yes. really cool things. You do not want to miss it. Welcome back, everybody. Super excited to have Amy Zarek with us. Um, we have, she has a great product with a great story. And so we're thrilled also to have this beautiful display of <laughs> really incredible things. And so um, I know you had met Jenny, you'd stopped by the store. So share with us just all about you and this amazing product that you have. Well, Commander's Bloody Mary started in 1995. Uh, my dad and my stepmom created it, and people kept asking to buy it. And so that's always a good sign. Yeah, we didn't know how we were going to bottle this up and and sell it, mm -hmm. um, all with full time jobs and and everything. So uh, fast forward a couple years, I designed a spice blend that uh -huh. worked, and so now here I am today, and I promote for the VFW Post 1296 in Bloomington, Minnesota, where my dad was the commander, uh -huh. and that's where it adopted its name. Okay. Well, it's great. And I did, when I first saw the packet, I was like, I wonder why it is called commander. So um, that's amazing, your dad being a commander in the armed forces, but also how you give back to just veterans mm -hmm. um, and to honor your dad. Right. So I know he's proud. Absolutely. And, and does he use the spice? He does. <laughs> yep. And so does the VFW. Now there's two places you can find it here. You can also okay. buy it at Allen's Foods okay. in Bella Vista. And I just recently sold to the Shire Gastro Pub um, in Rogers. Okay. So they yeah. are serving up commanders. So if you ask for it there, you awesome. can try it. And now at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits. Yes. So that's super exciting. Um, well, we definitely want to sample. But Jenny, did you? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you tried it already? Yes. Okay. And so Jenny has tried it, and you think we should, I think we should sample. It is fantastic. I do think we should sample. You can never sample too much. No, I, we, we feel that way. So with your spice, in order to make this, um, we have Clamato, which is great in itself. And we were talking about different options on drinks, too. So with this one, what we brought today is Wheatley Vodka. And so Wheatley is made at the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is in Kentucky. And so I don't know that a lot of people know that, but um, it's a really nice, great vodka. And so we're going to use Wheatley vodka. We also um, have Stonewall Kitchen. This little vegetable medley is so fantastic. And, you know, it, it has just a variety with carrots and pickles and, and spices in it. So it's always nice to add that to a Bloody Mary mix. 
and then of course the clamato which has but then your spice is what's really going to set it off so we would love it if you would um, make a drink but also tell us just a little bit about your spice packets up here what's the difference so the spice packets we have two different blends we have a spicy blend which is made with a habanero mm -hmm. pepper okay. and then we have the mild and it is what it is it's so just no something spice. for everyone something no for everybody heat, but lots of spice still just no heat right okay mm -hmm. all right sounds Bursting good with flavor yeah yes. lots of flavor and did you try the spicy or did you try the mild already uh, had the spicy. I had the spicy because okay. mm -hmm. I like spice. Well, I think we should make one. All right. All right. So if you want to put, I would say about 16 ounces of Clamato in here. So 16 ounces of Clamato. And, and 16 make... ounces is going to make two cocktails. Okay, two cocktails. So the rule is um, with the spice blend, eight ounces makes one cocktail. Okay, perfect. That looks good. Or about half. Yeah, looks okay. good to me. And then we're gonna just put the vodka in here, but people can do this however they want. I know everybody has their own way of mm -hmm. mixing their own cocktails. And you know, you I don't guess would even have to add any alcohol. You could have more of a right? mocktail if Absolutely. you didn't want. And we talked about if we use tequila. You can make a a bloody Santa Maria. There you go. So and and it's, if, it's yeah. also very good in a Michelada. Mm. So with a beer, a Modelo right. or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, so different options with the spice. So now because I'm making two cocktails, I'm gonna use just one teaspoon of the spice blend. Wow, so it doesn't really take a lot. Not at all. This would be a great gift. It I know would. it's July. No, it's August. Wow. Already. So we should already be thinking about the holidays, and um, we also have little 100 mils and 50 mls that you could put this with and make a little gift mm -hmm. as far as, that might be a stocking stuffer. I know we're talking about this in August, but I think it's time to start thinking about it. All right, so we have some of these great glasses. Last time I threw this on the floor to show everyone that it won't break. We won't do that today. Brad, we're going to start drinking now, um, so I know if you would like to join us. But Jenny and I definitely want to sample. Okay. All right, there you go. All right. Jenny, cheers. cheers. Now, I like that glass as well. Do you want to trade? Oh, no, but I love the bottom of I it. I do, too. All the, it's the, the colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think that's my favorite. And it's not too much heat, but mm -hmm. just enough to really give that flavor. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Yeah. Good this job. is delicious. Very good. So, so good. Not okay, so good. now we just get to sit and drink for a little bit. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, well, tell us, so I know where we can buy the packet. Now, are you going to be at different locations doing tastings or we do have you scheduled when? This Friday? This, this Friday. Friday. Okay, so at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits this Friday from 3.30, 7.30, or 4 to 7, something like that, um, Amy will be there, and you can come and actually sample for yourself. So that's exciting, and thank you so much for being here today and allowing Absolutely. us to, I love the story. I love how it supports your dad, but veterans in general, mm -hmm. and um, that's just, it makes it spicy in itself. What else can you do with um, your product besides Bloody Mary? Well, besides the Bloody Mary and the cocktails, mm -hmm. you can also put it on your meats. I've discovered you could put it on seafood, on wow. steak. We put it on ribs the other day. Um, so it's pretty universal. You can have a big brunch party with it. I bet it. you could even do like a meatloaf. You know how mm -hmm. you have to add all the spices to meatloaf? Right. I don't know. Might be fantastic. But just putting it on everything. Wow. A little dash of lime in that too. Yeah. Adds a little bit of tangy. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Well, thank you so we'll much. We'll have a yes. little dish of something on the Dutch That's oven true. on wheels this weekend. Oh, okay. um, Honoring her spice. Right, the commander spice. Blend. So mm -hmm. you can find it at the Dutch oven on wheels. You can find it at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits. You can go to Allen's and buy it. So coming soon. And thank you me. can come taste it. That's right. On Friday. On, on Friday. Friday. And we'll probably have a little bit of Wheatley to go along with that. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. And we have another special guest coming up. So come back and join us.
I'm still thinking. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back. I am amped up. You like that? Thank I told you. him it would be a little bit corny, but truly amped up with an event that's coming up Labor Day weekend with Amped. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Amped. Amped Electric Amp. Yeah. Wow. This is, it really is incredible. And I mean, we can't wait to even maybe, maybe see it later. But Jenny met Seth a while back and mm -hmm. just kind of learned about this. So tell us all about it. Well, I've known you for about a year now. Yep. So let's introduce yourself and tell us about what the Amped Electric Games is. Sure, sure. So the Amped Electric Games is a PEV festival that's a personal electric vehicle festival. So you could think of one wheels and electric skateboards, electric unicycles, e-bikes. And uh, we're having an event out at the Benton County Fairgrounds coming up uh, September 1st through the 3rd. Okay. It's an expo, so everybody can come on out and check out the different electric vehicles. They're considered micro-mobility devices. It, so. it blows my mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting here like this. Now, I think you have a video. Yes, Is that right? Yes, I do. I actually have a little bit of a highlight reel. If, if you guys would like to see a little bit about how these things work and um, the different types of riders that we have. Uh, we do um, races all over the country, so Amped Electric Games uh, broadcasts all over the country. Uh, this was in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, this is from our event last year. That was uh, EUC Girl and Connor Stitt, two professional riders. This is Cooler Joe. He's quite a character. He rides a cooler. Oh, which my has, which has a, And we also have some spills, so you'll see some spills out at the mm. Benton County Fairgrounds as well. We also go off-road, so this is at Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. Riders come in from all over the world, and we play games of skill and just have a lot of fun and do community types of events. And we'd love for the public to come out and check us out September 1st through the 3rd at the Benton County Fairgrounds. They can also look us up on YouTube at youtube.com slash Games. And this year we have a special guest who will be jumping an electric dirt bike his name is Scrub FMX, and you can see him there. So it's just going to be a lot of fun out there at Benton County Fairgrounds. And we hope that everybody can make it out and check it out. Tickets are free, so come on out. And uh, I'm in awe. Yeah, 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 I cannot wait. I mean, I just don't think many of us or many people have heard about it. Yeah. And so what a great way to get it out there. I think you were on KNWA earlier this yeah, week and yeah. also talked about it. So hopefully word's getting out yeah. and... What a great way to even bring your family. Um, and it looks like you have on protective gear and helmets and different things. So it could just be a really fun and even safe way to just, I don't know, entertain yourself. <laughs> or I, It's good you, exercise. Do you do DoorDash yeah. with this? Uh, people do do DoorDash. Um, I don't. <laughs> I am just an, uh, I say I'm just an announcer. Um, one of my specialties has been jumping. Okay. So that's what I like to do on the electric unicycles. Um, and you know, you, you saw a couple of riders there that were jumping. Mm -hmm. um, we just, I saw a school bus. You did see a school bus uh, last year. Mike Leahy, otherwise known as Shibby Time, um, he jumped over the school bus. Since then, his his career is just catapulting. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> he, he, it was amazing. I got to witness you it. Saw it. I witnessed it, <laughs> yeah. and it was at, that whole event is just mind blowing. Yeah. Um, they get up to, what's the speeds? Uh, around 55 miles an hour you know, on a top speed on our oval track. Could you imagine being no. on the trails? <laughs> no, probably not on the trails. You don't go quite that fast. Yeah, the trails think. are a little bit tougher to go quite that fast. And actually, uh, I appreciate you segueing into the trails aspect because I wanted to let everybody know, you know, they see these devices and they think, oh, my gosh, it's like a motorcycle. But mm. it's really not. Um, the reason that they allow them on the trails around here is because they are self-balancing. Okay. So if we spin out or lose traction, mm -hmm. we'll fall down. So okay. there's really not a chance for us to wreck the trails like, like a motorcycle would right. or something Gee. like that. Well, that so. makes sense. And we actually, you're right, we do go uh, slower than mountain bikes even because mm -hmm. it's hard to kind of navigate those Well, you have to have stuff. a lot of balance, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit of balance. And yep. so how long have you trained? to do this? When did you start? So I started in 2020 um, mm -hmm. and the first month that I had it I put a thousand miles on it 
Um, and I just found that it was a very, uh, zen, it allowed me to get into my Zen space mm -hmm. um, where I'm not thinking about anything other than just riding the wheel. And so that has really helped me to overcome a lot of depression mm -hmm. and alcoholism actually as well. So I quit drinking around that time as well. Mm -hmm. And so using these devices, I think they're very therapeutic Absolutely. as well. So some people like to skydive and some people like to ride motorcycles, mm -hmm. but we like to ride these electric unicycles. I'm and a skydiver. You are? Okay. I, I pictured you as a skydiver, actually. <laughs> Jenny can do anything, I'm sure. Jenny, are you going to try this Labor Day weekend? I will try it again. I tried last year. I wasn't successful, but I'm not a quitter. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I'll just be a little more prepared with some, right. some gear. gear. It yeah. would take a little bit. How long would you say for just average person? Sure. But they're willing. They're, they're a Jenny. They're not going to give up to maybe be able to balance and ride. Okay. Um, so my wife, it took me three years to convince her. Okay. And she just this year picked it up. And she was able to get up and, and um, balance after about uh, three days of okay. of trying mm -hmm. um and now she's she she sends me selfies from all over town and i'm <laughs> over here now i'm over here and she has graduated from and i'll, I'll show, give you guys an example but she's gone from our trainer wheel to our medium wheel all the way up to one of our race style wheels and she's almost 50 years old so she is a ver you know she has a risk aversion okay. but with the proper gear mm -hmm. um, knee knee protection wrist protection and helmets um, she's kind of overcome that fear, and she just loves it. I bet. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun. So what impact does the Amped Electric Games have on a local community? Yeah, so um, the Amped Electric Games, we are really, we try to embed ourselves with the communities. Mm -hmm. We use all local vendors um, to get our, um, you know, our stickers made and all of the people that come out. We want to make sure that we're putting back and supporting mm -hmm. the local community. Um, this year, we've partnered with Visit Bentonville, the um, Tourism Bureau, and they've, they've helped us to connect with different um, types of avenues to do advertising because ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about bringing in an influx of tourists, mm -hmm. and so their tourist dollars are spent. So we're, we're always tracking how many people we're bringing in, how much money we're bringing into the community. So what we're trying to do is to, to really drive uh, uh, more tourism dollars towards the area. Right. Right. And that's the biggest impact that we're having right now. That is fantastic. Well, Thank you for we, keeping it local. We have so many people that come to Bella Vista. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially, I mean, Bentonville, Northwest Arkansas, but to Bella Vista to ride the trails. They yeah. say they are the best. So that you can ride this around but also on the bike trails um mm -hmm. is pretty awesome would love you know when all these mountain bikers are coming in to see this right. we have to have them watch bella vista community television yeah. yes and tune in to this episode uh, we we hope that you all will um like subscribe share because if you're watching it right now that means you already like it but let's get out the word on this amped event um and jenny is the um Dutch Oven on Wheels going to be at this event on Labor it Day is. weekend. It is. We will be feeding them. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that's another reason to go out. Well, and another great reason is you can tell us about the fundraising that you do for the American Childhood Cancer Organization. Okay, oh. great. So, yeah, we partnered with the um, ACCO, the American Childhood mm -hmm. Cancer Organization. Um, one of our writers, their children was afflicted with cancer, and mm -hmm. this organization really helped them. They support families. And so they help to give them information about how to cope with, right. with the cancer. And I have, I'm really proud to say that Noah is now um, in remission. Awesome. So it's, it's really close to our hearts because mm -hmm. our riders were af afflicted and they've just been amazing to, to, um, to work with. And so the American Childhood Cancer Organization, they'll be sending out these capes and like slap bracelets and all sorts of things so for the kids. Fun. And what a <laughs> to, great community yeah. that we live in, but a great community that you all have. Yes. And yes. that support and getting yeah. the word out about that. Yeah. Yeah. We've, there's a lot of kids mm -hmm. that are afflicted and mm. how it affects their families. Yep. Yep. We're proud to say we've raised over eighty five hundred dollars. Wow. For ACCO since we started last September. So yeah. just under a year now. And that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, makes an impact. We hope yeah. to be on board with that. Now, because you do have a few of these here, oh, no. do you want to? Uh, I would love to tell your audience more about them if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we would love to see it. Okay, great. So I can give you guys a, uh, an example. I brought three devices today. 
Um, now, keep in mind, we will have e-skates and one wheels at the Amps Electric Games. These are all types of electric unicycles. Um, so this small one is called the M10-4, and it's kind of our pint-sized version, okay? So think <laughs> kid's bike <laughs> kind of okay. a thing, okay? So it has a top speed of around 20 miles an hour, and it will go about 10 miles in range. Um, the next size up is the Bigode A2. Um, this has about 25 miles range, and it will do 25 miles an hour. Um, this third one, this is probably my favorite one, um, this is called the T4, and what I like about this one is that it has suspension. So when you're going off of jumps or doing tricks and things like that, it kind of has a little bit of, uh, of give, like that. Mm. Um, and then this one will do around 35 miles an hour, and it has a range of around... 30 miles. Um, so I can give you a little demonstration if you'd like to see how they work. Oh, sure. Please. Sure. All right. So you've probably seen Segways before, right? Mm -hmm. So Segway is based on a self-balancing um, technology. So basically what these have inside is a computer that constantly tells them which way is up. And so it's controlling the motor and telling the motor to go forward or reverse in order to keep the device balanced. All right. So... We'll go like this, and now it's balancing. If I want to go backwards, I lean backwards. If I want to go forward, I lean forward. If I want to turn, I can just kind of uh, dip one of my toes here. I'll show you an example. Dip my toe. Wow. And it'll turn. So is this easier than a Segway? Um, a lot of people like the Segway because it has the handlebars mm. to balance on, and there's also two wheels. So with this only having one wheel, it's a little bit more difficult, but... The riders that are going to be at the Amped Electric Games make it look like it's so easy. You would make it look so easy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to tell you, we'll have riders from California. We have EUC girls. She's 11 years old, and she jumps 40, 50 feet in the air. We, we have a rider from France. Uh, his name is Chapeau Duro. He rides two of these at a time. Remember him, yes. Jenny? And yes. he goes around in circles mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, as well as our racers, um, also the e-skates. We'll have a whole indoor track. It will be an exhibition, exposition, okay. <laughs> expo, so people will be able to try and, and look at all of the different types of devices there. Yeah. What if somebody wanted to purchase something? Is that yeah? We'll have how vendors. Does that work? Okay. Yeah, there will be vendors out at the Amps Electric Games. So if people would like to, you know, they'll have uh, devices there ready to go. So how do people find out more about your event, and where can they get the tickets? Sure. So we partnered with Visit Bentonville, as I mentioned earlier, and we're through Visit Bentonville. We're making tickets available for free. Oh, nice. In limited supply. So if the viewers would like to go to ampedelectricgames.com slash Visit Bentonville and join us on September 1st through the 3rd for races and jumps and all sorts of exciting. It is going to be exciting. It is exciting. I hope to go. I it is mind-blowing. <laughs> I see this possibly someday in the future being an Olympic sport. I'm, yeah, definitely. I mean, everything keeps evolving over time mm -hmm. with all the different, and why not? Why not? It's why amazing. Not? Yeah, wow. people often say, you guys should get in the X Games, and we say, we want to be the X Games <laughs> of electric vehicles. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything like that currently? No. <laughs> heard it well, first now there on is. Bella Vista <laughs> Amped Electric Games. Yeah. Ampedelectricgames.com yeah. and youtube.com slash Games to see all of our past races from the past this past year. Thank you so much sure. for bringing this yeah. to Northwest Arkansas. You're welcome. Definitely want to check it out. And I love just the videos that you had. <laughs> Thanks. So that was fun. Well, Seth, thank you very much. Sure. And Jenny, you know, your son's Seth Johnson and Seth Johnson. Yeah. So that, that's, that's what that's primarily what brought us together. I love I that. Like, Same middle name, I'm, too. That, <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing, I'm just mind blown. Serendipitous. It, yes, it yes. is. So I'm going to be a weirdo and put on my naturals hat. There it is. Um, nice. And just want to remind you about the naturals game September 3rd. Yes. Yes. And then this is September 1st to the 3rd. So you're going to be busy. Yeah. Because There's a lot of options. A lot yeah. of options. And you can get your tickets. Um, a reminder that it also... Um, if you go to the game, helps the nonprofit of the food fairies and kiddos getting back to school. 
and then with Seth and Amped Electric Games. So lots to do. Thank you so much you're for welcome. being here. That was super fun. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. What'd you think? Loved it.